Dave Snyder here. It's October the 20th, 2013. And I just made a video and the microphone was too close and everything like that, so it didn't turn out too good. So I'm doing this again. Um, what I did is I took a bunch of hurricanes that I saved off. The, I just went to Google Images and downloaded miscellaneous pictures of hurricanes, right? And I I just did this a minute ago and I, I did it for the first time on the video, but now I can't. Now it's already, I've, they're already done, so I, I just, I haven't really messed with them. I'm just going to go through the few that I did here on on the video I just did that didn't turn out and some of it started right in here somewhere let's see okay this is the one I started started out by showing this this is this is the same this is a hurricane or typhoon Francisco right okay we'll check it out I basically lined up this right here this crater or that that weather pattern with that crater right there see that crater okay then look you see this is a classic shape of, of a hurricane or a tornado or any or a cyclone they have this point right here it has this point and then when you line up that I lined up this crate this area here and you see how the point falls right into place the point you can see it there and you see it in the crater right there right okay check it out and then look at the eyes this eye and then this spot right here there's two there and they're not perfectly lined but they're not going to be because you got to figure this is you know you're not going to get perfect. Let's see this area here. You can see that. See that little area there, right here? Okay, that's there. I mean, it is absolutely there. So then I started, I decided I was going to show some other hurricanes that I downloaded earlier from the internet. And, and this is what happened when I did that. Let's just go check it out. Okay, so this is the first one I did. And there's your classic. This is uh, the one that just, the Phelan, Typhoon Phelan. Okay. Or a cyclone. Wasn't it a cyclone? Yeah, cyclone failing. This is, okay, so here, we just did typhoons, Francisco. This is cyclone failing. And look at the classic point. This is the classic point. You line that up just like that, right there in that spot. And just look, it just, it lines up really well. You see this line come around here, but right, right in place for this area here, I do believe. And you see this notch right there. You see the notch in the side of the Schrodinger right there. See the notch. That's what creates it. There it is. See that. And I showed it. Oh, this crater here. Watch. See this round spot right here. And then you look right below it. There is that crater there. Okay. And I'm sure you could go through it in more detail and find more stuff. I'm sure. Right here, maybe. Let's see what's there. Something right there. It goes there. Look at this. You can see this area here pretty well. Very good. And, and there's another one I wanted to show here on this other one too. Let me see if I got it. Oh, where this comes down right here. See where this area comes down. See where that area comes to the same point and everything. See that? <coughs> okay, so there's that. And go back to you. We'll go, now the next one, I don't know, remember what the name of this one is, but um, I think I had this one lined up wrong in the video that I made earlier. So I'm gonna now I got the opportunity to uh, correct this. I think this is the point up here. So simply done. Move it right there, like it should be, and there it is, corrected. Pretty sure. Oh yeah, look at that. See this area? Look at this little V cut in right there. Look. So you see what I'm saying? There's the eye. It, it should be lined up with one of those eyes, pretty much. But that's, I think that's pretty good right there. We'll just leave it there. But you get the idea. See the opening right here where everything starts to come out of the of the pattern, right there. See that? Okay. And you can kind of see this is it comes out of that side a little bit, but it's not. That goes there, people. I mean, wow. Look at that. The classic point. You got to look, see the point. The storms always have. They're not perfectly round. They have that point every time. Every time. These are just miscellaneous ones I just grabbed off the internet. I mean, I didn't even know. I just tried to find good ones. Is all. This one I did over here because it was uh, over here off the coast of Florida, and I know Florida's right there. But it starts. If you look right here, I, 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 I've had this lined up. I already showed it. There's Schrodinger there. Okay, and then you got the point. And this is the point, I do believe, right here.
coming up this way and it lines right up with the eye everything lines up pretty good that's kind of a kind of a crappy picture but you can kind of see the shape of Florida right there in a way kind of weird okay so that one kind of sucks actually I didn't really like that one but that's not a good picture either so the last one the final one I did is back over here and uh, it might be a, a storm from from over there but oh wait a minute I can't remember which one this is but check it out here's the pat same pattern I might have already did this one earlier okay so anyways doing it again here's the point right there see the point and look at the <coughs> look at this line comes up like this you can see that it's in a circle really well and that could be I could be I think that's the point. Pretty sure. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? It does create them all. You could fit, you, like I said, any, you can take any one that you want, put it in there, and it will have that classic point. The eye will usually line up right with one of these two spots, and it will fit around the circle every time. Every time. I don't care which one. Every one I've tried so far is always has fit. And I, I just grab miscellaneous ones. I'm not trying to grab any certain ones because I don't even know that much about hurricanes and cyclones. I, I don't know that much about them. All I know, I, I know that what starts them. That's that's a pretty important thing, if you ask me. I mean, I don't I, look. I, the conditions that start them may be true, but I'm telling you, what shapes them is this print on the Earth that this that the Moon leaves here when it impacts it. And you can check that all you want, and I guarantee you, you will come up with the same result. So if you don't know that the moon's hit the earth, you should look into it because it, it changes all your other science that, you, that people are talking about drastically. I mean, look at the watch. You seen that one I did over over the Rocky Mountains? God, that was such a, an awesome weather pattern that day. You can go back and check the videos on my channel where I show that one over the Rocky Mountains. That was so incredible. You seen the horn? The whole thing was there whole thing and it's like I think the horn looks like it's right there on the land it comes off the side of Schrodinger that, that's a, just an incredible weather pattern it led me to, to the Schrodinger crater there and then you can also watch the one where I show it in Central America which was a perfect alignment of the weather and Schrodinger I mean absolutely perfect and then you can watch the one where I showed it down here and check the, check it out look at how they got the weather down here nowadays since I found that one I don't know if it's because I found that one but let me just show you the weather what they do now see how they got this all pixelated this is not this, this is to keep you from aligning Schrodinger in this area because earlier it was it was showing a really good pattern and it would have showed it see what they do here they do that on purpose they do this on purpose because all around all around Antarctica has been impacted by the moon all around it Guaranteed Schrodinger hits right there. I've, you can watch a video on my channel that shows a perfect alignment of it right there, perfect to the to the T. I mean, it's absolutely perfect. Every angle, line, everything is there. So, and it's consistently the same size. And what do we got here? A big circle right here. Hmm. That could only be one thing. We should try putting Schrodinger right there for the hell of it. While I'm making the video, might as well. I mean, I'm not saying it goes there, but we can check. You know, we could really, we could absolutely check, and we do that real quick. It's just a matter of doing this, you know, getting the hang of the, learning the shapes. Okay, so that's probably. Let's see how big we are here. I don't know if I can do this, one. yeah, I guess I can. Okay. Come on, it's not starting my thing. Okay, so I'll just stop this here, and then I can do it. I guess. Okay, that's about the right size. That's just so if we're about the right size, we should be able to get it. If it, if it does fit there, then we'll get it. Maybe that spot goes right there. I don't know. It's just a matter of checking it out.
could go right there. And again, it could go. Oh, I see this flat. It could go just like that. Possibly. I don't, you know, because you see the curve here is pretty close, and you see this flat bottom, this line at the bottom here. You kind of see the weather kind of cut off flat right there, and then it comes around again. You know, that's an iffy. But, it, you know, you will find it over here. You will find it over there. Schrodinger will fit right here. Watch. Look at, the, look at the spot right here. See this big round shape here? It will fit there. Sometimes the weather will show a perfect circu circle right there, and you can line Schrodinger right up right there, too. And then over here, too, perfect circle sometimes. I saw something earlier. I guess it kind of broke up. It was kind of a circle shape there earlier. And then South Africa put Schrodinger there, too. Put it right there. Watch Schrodinger right there, South Africa. Boom, big round circle. Hits there. Actually, you know, it, there's a lot of, of craters on the moon. If we go to the moon, I'm trying not to make this too long, but I'm trying to just get it to where it's obvious. I mean, it, it should be already. But you see Schrodinger, the size of Schrodinger. Okay, the colorized would be good. That'll work. No, not yet. Hold on. Okay, Schrodinger, right there. See the size of it? Okay, then, then you go to these other ones that are like this. Like this one. They probably hit the same place on Earth. See, this Schrodinger would probably fit right in the center there. Actually, I think it's off to the side. But. Then you got this one here that hits the... Look, these are all impacts with Earth. This here, the Apollo, everything. You'll find it all on the Earth. That big dark spot, that big dark spot, okay? Tycho, you could, I think you can put Tycho. I'm pretty sure Tycho will fit along the Hawaiian Island chain. It's got the same angle. If you put it together, it can probably go there. I've done it before. And I've had pretty good luck with it. <coughs> Tycho right here. See how it's got these two... I just put that with one island chain. It's pretty much the same angle. Okay. So, anyways, you get the idea, right? So, have fun. Let me know what you find, because you're going to find stuff if you look. All right, have a good day.